Hey there guys, Dangerously Reckless here with another episode of the Armory. So this here is my M24 from Snow Wolf. So I've not really done anything to it yet, except uh, compress the spring a little bit. When I got it with point twos, it was shooting, I think like 410. Now after about a week or two of compressing it, it's shooting at 3... 386, pretty consistent. I want to compress it a little bit more. So I want to have one spring that's, that's weak for it. And then once I upgrade the internals, I'll get an, another stronger spring. So for, I've, I've bought a few things for the exterior. The only major thing I've done to it is put the threaded barrel end adapter in there and then uh, dremeled it out. So I could put my longer barrel in there. If you're wondering how I did that, it was not an easy task. As you can see, I slotted it to try to screw it out. I ended up having to drill two holes through there, put in a couple screwdrivers, and wrench the screwdrivers with a wedge. And even that wasn't easy since the barrel was actually glued into that as well as the threads were glued into the gun. It actually took me a lot of work to do that. Blow torching, locking it into a vise. Finally had to just say I don't care and go for broke, risk damaging the gun. But it ended up working out. Nothing on the gun is damaged. A scratch or two. Nothing that some spray paint didn't fix. Alright, so here it is with its basic furniture on there. Got that Aim Sports 3 to 9 by 40 scope. Seems really crisp. Zooming it in and out, it's pretty nice. And then the, uh, the Matrix tactical bipod there, the extendable legs. I'll show you that in a second. And then the Matrix. 110 by 30 millimeter silencer or something like that. I went ahead and sprayed the tip and kind of faded it back to flat black just because that's how I like to roll. You see it's got the, uh, the Memento Mori and the Grim Reaper there. Alright guys, so bear with me. We got a little bit of a cold right now. But uh, I'm getting ready to put together the barrel pop up unit and the reap top up bucking. And I just wanted to show that this PDI hop-up unit actually has two hop-up bars for adjusting the hop as well as a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, I guess. And it's supposed to be pretty precise and pretty badass. So I'm kind of excited. It's got all sorts of O-rings inside it. It's got springs. you got to kind of put it all together. And it can be a little bit of a tight pain in the ass. But with that, I've got the uh, the Reaps ME3 like, 80 degree hop up bucking, which they're pretty tight. I've got like three of them. And uh, I went back to a Mad Bull barrel, the Black Python Type or version 2. That's a 6.03, 650 millimeter barrel, as you can see right there. Uh, I'm going to slap all this together and see what it's got. And if I need more power, but I doubt it, I've got an SP-150 spring there, just in case I need a little more oomph. Uh, we'll get these together and put it through the chrono. Alright, so I've already taken a few practice shots. It's kind of hard to do this. As you can see there, the, uh, the barrel sticks out a significant amount. I'll show you what for here in a second. It's basically improved since the other night when I tried it, put it all together. So I relubed all the seals and they had time to, to swell up. And it is staying pretty consistent. 416, 417, 419. Which uh, I'm pretty satisfied with. So I'll give you guys one more shot right here. That was 417. Alright boys and girls, so there she is, pretty much finished, 
And I've got two things left to do to it, and that's to make a scope shield out of that sheet of lexane there on the floor, which eh, shouldn't take me too much time. And then to find how I'm finally going to braid that paracord. You can see there it's kind of just roughly thrown together. Give it a little bit of a different flare. It's all painted up. And if I decide not to go with that route with the paracord, I have another silencer sitting there. A little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Both of those have been filled with foam. Not really foam, but it's hard to explain what it is because I don't know what it is. Found it in the garage. But uh, I'll be using .32s. Have this out next week at uh, Code Red for BB Wars Counterattack, Episode 3. Looking forward to it. I'm pretty happy. Lots of trial and error in there. So after everything breaks in and I get it sighted and dialed and hop up, I'll have a uh, shooting and accuracy test. Or I'll take a sledgehammer to it. If I do that, I promise I'll make a video. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I've been sick. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Oh, I guess I'll throw a uh, sideshow clip, show, whatever show of of what I've put into it finally since I've went through three different barrels and a couple other parts and blah, blah, blah. Uh, thanks. Comment, subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. Send me cheeseburgers with bacon.